whoa, guys, I think you're muted. Are, are you ready? You got it, you got it? Can we? Okay. What? I don't know from these things. It's okay, Jeez. it's okay, we're good. All right, okay. We're good. It hasn't hey, actually started, has it? Well, I don't. Oh, we better get this going. No, okay. Oh, okay, I could do that. Okay. Let me... Can you do this? Well, if I put my glasses on, I could do it. Okay. How much time do we have? Morning in progress. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's the way. Oh, yeah, that's the way. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Here okay. we go. Let's go. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So break the hair. Break the hair. Are you getting it? No, I can't even get it. You can't even get it? Okay, it's on. It's on. Oh, okay. It's about time. Okay. Well, well, is it right though? Yeah, you shush it over a little till you're right. Okay, shush it for me. Mm -hmm. Is it sitting okay? Christian, yeah, Christian, Miss Marcy, are you there? Oh, Miss Marcy, Christian, the the awards have started. The awards have started. No, I haven't. No. Oh my God. Oh my We're God. on. We're live. Yes. Oh my, oh my God. Oh. Are you ready? You look fabulous, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. Well, oh, we better turn the thing yeah, around. I can see all the bottles and, you know. Okay. Go ahead. All right. All right. What is this? Let me know when you're ready. You look fabulous. When you got here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, that was a little. You made was, it. Oh, sorry about I that. I was in a panic. I was like, "Are, are oh. the awards starting? You guys were still getting dressed, no. doing your hair." Well, well, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Should we get rolling? I mean, we're early yes. for European time. We are. We are. That's right. <laughs> now we have to really get with that here. Okay. 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 All right. All right, you two. Okay. Calling to order. Okay. Party started. <laughs> Hello, bonjour. Actually, Hello. I can say bonjour properly. Bonjour. <laughs> 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 but I like to do the thing. It's a thing. But anyway. Okay. All right. Let her let her do it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just get get <laughs> us rolling here. Uh, good friends, hello and welcome to the 44th annual awards of Galleries Ontario Ontario Galleries. Uh, my name is Dawn Owen, and I am delighted to be one of your hosts this evening. You muted. Apologies. <laughs> Let me start again. Before I introduce my co-hosts, I would like to focus our thoughts within an awareness and acknowledgement of the land. I'm joining you tonight from Guelph, Ontario. Guelph is located on the ancestral homelands of the Anishinaabeg peoples, specifically the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. The place we now call Guelph is on land that is described in the Between the Lakes Purchase Number no. 3 Treaty 1792, an agreement between the Mississaugas of the Credit and the British Crown concerning over 3 million acres of land between Lakes Huron, Ontario and Erie. Today, Guelph, where I'm based, is home to many First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. Across Ontario, visual artists and creative professionals are spending time in close conversation about the land, its histories, and its peoples. Together, we continue to grow our knowledge and our relationships with the many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples who call our div diverse communities home. This journey refle excuse me, reflects our commitment to each other today and for the health and well-being of future generations. 
and I uh, invite you to join me and uh, and all of our colleagues here together to really reflect on uh, where you're sitting today, where you live, work, and create, and the relationships you're building with the land, its history, and its peoples in the places where you call home. It is now my absolute pleasure to introduce my co-hosts, Miss Marcy, Canada's pinup girl, and the always fabulous Christian Bernard Singer. Give us a wave, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So Miss Marcy, Canada's pinup girl, is a graphic designer and marketing guru, passionate about inspiring, storytelling, and creating impactful content that will one day be helpful in changing this world. With 10, more than 10 years experience in the media industry, her think outside the box frame of mind flourished, which led her to on-air personality work and producing TV shows and podcasts. Most recently, hosting her grassroots music podcast, Tracks with Miss Marcy, and creating and hosting her TV show, Calendars for a Cause. As Miss Marcy's passions for vintage style sparked, so did her fundraising business, Inspiring Pinup Calendars. She has produced a total of eight calendars, one of them being in Los Angeles. And you're joining us today, not from Los Angeles, Miss Marcy, but from Toronto, from no. Big Bay. Bay. <laughs> you want to say hello to the people? Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Hi up there. <laughs> and of course, Christian, Christian Bernard Singer is an eco artist, independent curator, teacher and writer often working with ephemeral materials from nature, his work explores consciousness, place and time passing. His works have been exhibited in museums and galleries throughout Canada and the United States and published in 20 catalogs and books. Christiane was also senior curator of the Tom Thompson Art Gallery and curator of the Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery. He's, he has curated uh, nearly 100 exhibitions of national and international artists, including three major retrospectives, and his writings have been published internationally. Christian is also an arts consultant and professional grant, uh, grants writer and teaches at the Ontario College of Art and Design University, OCADU. Hi, Christian. Welcome. <laughs> Good friend. <laughs> Well, here we are again, folks, gathered virtually in all our finery for the 44th annual GOG Awards, and 2021 has been just as challenging as the year that shall not be named. I have some housekeeping items for the evening. We're hosting the GOG Awards on Zoom and live streaming on GOG's Facebook page. The event is also being recorded. And the recording will be published to GOG's website and shared through our socials. But right now, I hope you, uh, you out there uh, joining us tonight, uh, relax, pour a glass of something that makes you happy, and enjoy the show. We also invite you to take part by sharing your greetings, congratulations, and good cheer in the Zoom chat. But before we really get things started, I wanted to ask Marcy about the pinup experience. What is it, Marcy? Can you can you give us some information? Well, yes, yes, I definitely can. I hope some of you saw the Instagram uh, promotion about the pinup experience contest and decided to get all dolled up like us tonight. Uh, I'm truly grateful to be co-hosting this event and I love supporting the visual arts sector. Uh, the visual arts open new ways of seeing and, be and being while sparking the, the imagination no matter what your field is. And uh, as I started creating my pinup calendar fundraisers for nonprofit organizations from the love of vintage and beauty uh, while telling stories that could impact communities. So it's been a really a passion project right from the start, from my heart, like truly. And I have uh, pinned up men, women, and children of all backgrounds, sizes, and ages. And uh, yeah, so the shoots are always fun, full of ex exploration and excitement. So with this in mind, I have created a pinup experience giveaway, which is all about expressing yourself. 
So if you did decide to dress up for the occasion tonight, please, please post your best selfie on Instagram while tagging and following both Miss Marcy, Candace Pinup Girl, and the Ontario Arts Galleries um, to be entered. And then I will decide the winner December 6th. So you still have time in case you get inspired to do so after the event. Yeah, so anyways, these calendars that I've been currently working on is my first non pinup um, or retro style thematic, which is one that I'm doing right now. And the shoots are set in a lovely garden with the beautiful naked bodies of all sizes, colors, and genders. Uh, the money will be raised and go towards a LGBTQ plus nonprofit. And I'm so very excited about it. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've been able to go in the garden and um, Keppelcroft and Big Bay and uh, and do lots of those, and it's been it's been it's been such a, a beautiful process. So, um, if you would like to see more of my work, please check out my website. It's www.missmarcy.rocks, and I really hope that you guys um, do some selfies and post and tag. Yeah. So, yeah, and also, I got to do one too. And yeah, it's really really fun. And yeah, you know, it's just a. a there, it five was minute fun. walk away from the house and and it's a magical magical garden yes with uh just the most incredible it's two it's two people that have done this just their love the love of of their lives and it's incredible yeah. and it's mm -hmm. just around the corner yeah. yeah thank you for saying that it was beautiful it was a beautiful experience to have him with me that's yeah. for sure well, I will so look forward to seeing you, Christiane, uh, in your pinup uh, photo. <laughs> I think it's a photo. Is it floating around out there somewhere? I'm, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Let's just say that. There's some drape, creative draping. As I said, creative draping. Yeah. It's been, it's, it was lovely. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Miss Marcy and Christian for sharing that with us. And I hope everybody on the call today gets inspired to, uh, to, to submit a photo to the pinup experience. Uh, don't forget, and you have until December 6th uh, when they're going to announce the winner. Um, and I have some other folks that I'd love to introduce you to tonight. Uh, and that is the GOG board. And so board members, when I call you your name can you give a little wave and say hello to the uh to the folks gathered tonight and we'll start with robert stephen our vice president hello hello everyone apologies for the delay in unmuting um and enjoy the evening see you later thanks robert and nahed mansoor our secretary welcome Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoy the award. Thanks, Nahed. And of course, now to Glenn Bloom, our treasurer. Welcome, Glenn. Hello. Welcome. Welcome and nice to see you all. And our next board member is Francisco Alvarez. Francisco, welcome to the awards. Perhaps Francisco isn't on camera at the moment, <laughs> but a hearty welcome to him. And we will move over to Shelly Faulkner. Shelly, welcome to the awards tonight. Hello, how are you? Hi, everyone. Welcome. Big congratulations to all of our nominees and our winners. And also, hopefully, this is our last virtual OAG. <laughs> Hurts Awards. I look forward to seeing you all in person next year. Be safe. Bye. Thanks, Shelley. And uh, Devyani Saltzman. Hello, Devyani. Hello, and so nice to see everyone. I'm not sure if I have a video delay. I'm calling in from India this evening and wishing all the nominees the greatest success. And hello to my fellow board members. Thanks, Devyani. Uh, and of course, Leth, uh, York Lethbridge. Hello, York. Hi. Hi. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And uh, thank you, everyone, for your participation in the awards this year. Thanks, York. Lovely to see you. 
Uh, and uh, Lisa Daniels, who's also on the board uh, at GOG, uh, couldn't join us tonight, but we'll, we'll send some love out uh, out into the uh, into the virtual space towards uh, towards her and thank her for uh, her work she'll do with the board in the year to come. So that is your GOG board of directors. Uh, and we're delighted to be here with you tonight. The next introduction that I get to make is uh, is uh, for Zainab Vergi, our executive direct director of GOG. Um, what can I say about Zainab? Honestly, it has been an absolute pleasure uh, and an honor to work with Zainab at GOG. Um, always, but particularly over the last two years, um, as we've been struggling uh, under the pressures of the pandemic, uh, et cetera. And uh, Zainab has, has kept uh, GOG uh, focused and driven and ambitious and excited about the work that we do. And without her, um, I think that we would all in this sector be a little bit less well-informed, uh, less animated and uh, move to action. And I really just, um, can't say enough uh, about Zainab, and I. Uh, it's my pleasure at this moment to uh, introduce or welcome Zainab to the screen. Great. Thank you so much, um, Dawn, uh, for that amazing introduction. I just want to say welcome to everyone. It is so exciting to be at the awards again. Sorry, it's not in person, but next year I hope it will be. So I really want to begin actually tonight by acknowledging two past presidents. Mm -hmm. And I want to acknowledge them for the amazing work that they've done, um, for their passion, for their insight, um, and, and deep experience and a deep commitment to the associ association and the membership. And of course, these two people are York Lethbridge and Don Owen. And through their tenures, um, They've been so supportive. We have seen growth. We've had deep discussions about advocacy and equity issues. Um, and they've given a lot of support to dream big and envision more for the sector. So thank you. Without your support, um, it allows us to dream big and to make sure that we can go big. Um, York Lethbridge became president of the AGM in 2019 for one term. And then of course we were hit with the pandemic and York's um, kindly agreed um, to have the term extended by another year. And this was really to ensure continuity and stability to the organization. York and I have had many calls navigating the precarious and uncertain times um, at odd times and at many all times maybe. Um, so thank you York for your unwavering support and ever ready for the work of the association. Your insights have been invaluable. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. And Dawn, she completed six years of service at the AGM last Monday. Dawn, like York, has been unwavering in her commitment. Um, Dawn, it has been such a pleasure working with you. And thank you, you know, for always being there and steering us forward with your wisdom and generosity. Now, um, it is my deep honor to present the OAG GOG pin of service to Dawn. If you can just stay with us for a moment whilst we um, do this little tiny presentation. Oh, this is <laughs> Okay. Now, um, and Don, you're wearing it tonight. I can see it pinned yeah. to your collar there. Very lovely. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for pointing it out. Um, I also want to thank all the other members of the board uh, who you just met very briefly through a sc screen appearance. Um, and of course, you know, the wonderful Christian Bernard Singer is our president for the coming year. Thank you, Christian. Now, you know, the awards remain our signature program, and we look forward to having one in person, of course, next year. Um, I want to just point out that our commitment 
to recognizing and celebrating excellence in our sector is particularly important in our equity efforts. In the past 18 months, the efforts for equity and anti-racism were foregrounded by the sector. You know, people sent out statements. We've looked at the idea of decolonization and all the other work that we're doing in addressing inequities, and these have to continue. We really encourage and hope that all galleries will continue to support BIPOC professionals and champion their voices. This year, there were no nominations. Unfortunately, none were made in the Changemaker BIPOC ca Award category. But I am sure and I hope that next year we can see nominations for this category because it really does champion the voices from BIPOC communities. We're delighted with all the nominations that we got and congratulations to everyone uh, for the nominations. And of course, we'll soon get to know who those winners are. Of course, I have to thank our sponsors for their amazing support and partnership. I want to thank Flash Productions, Rich Poppet and Derek Emerson. Um, they have been very steadfast um, in their support for us um, and, and for our awards. And this year, they've produced a very short run of the awards book for just the winners. Um, Flash uses this high quality printer, which is capable of producing remarkable short run productions. So if you need catalogs, posters or prints, Flash is proudly pushing the boundaries of what an art book can be. And Jessica has been holding it up for you to see. I hope you had a little uh, opportunity to look at it. Um, I also want to thank Surface Impression um, and Peter Pavement for allowing us to use your facility. You know, getting to grips with the digital can be a daunting prospect for many in the culture sector, finding the know-how, the time, money, and other resources that are needed to stay relevant and connected with your audiences. Audiences can feel like a constant struggle. Surface Impression is the here to help. Um, this digital agency exists to help galleries, museums, and other culture sector organizations to make the most of the digital. Their team works with gallery and museum professionals to devise effective strategies and build award-winning websites and to engage audiences to a wide range of initiatives. They are a proud sponsor of the 2021 GOG Awards and have worked in partnership with Galleries Ontario, Ontario Galleries for several years, including the groundbreaking Data Shy to Data Driven Program. You can find the link in the chat uh, to visit Surface Impression and find out more about what they can do for you. Get in touch with them for many services that they can help you with to unlock and transform your digital effectiveness. Now, I want to thank Leonard Weimer at Don de Dag, who has also been designing our awards book and other assets for many years. The beautiful book, the, the, the invitations that you have been receiving, um, all of these different assets have been designed by, by Leonard, and, and it's been wonderful to work with him over the years, and thank you again. Thank you to PacArt. Um, PacArt, is a, as you know, is a transportation, sir, art transportation, um, provides art transportation service, and they have sponsored us for several years now for live entertainment, and this evening for, for the entertainment with Bruno Capinan. Thank you to all the organizations that have contributed to our awards and our silent auction. And lastly, of course, I would like to thank the Department of Canadian Heritage, the Canada Council for the Arts, the Ontario Arts Council, and the Toronto Arts Council for their funding. We cannot do this without our sponsors and our funders and all the amazing people we work with. Thank you so much to all of you and thank you to everyone for joining us. And thank you, Zainab, uh, for all of that and more to come in tonight's uh, award ceremony. Um, it's my uh, pleasure now to let you know that we've received many letters of congratulations uh, from folks uh, from from folks who have um, 
you know, frankly, a say in some of the work that we do. Uh, and uh, that includes, of course, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Minister of Canadian Heritage Pablo Rodriguez, excuse me, Rodriguez, uh, Minister of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries Lisa McLeod, Toronto Mayor John Tory, and Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson. Uh, which you'll all be able to read in our digital program book. And yes, that's right. This year we have a produced uh, a digital program book that will be in your inbox post awards. So you can read the details of their letters of congratulations um, in there. And uh, right now we also are lucky to, to receive two video messages of congratulations from the Premier uh, Doug Ford and from MPP Chris Glover. Let's hear from them now. To bring greetings to everyone tuning in as you celebrate Gallery Ontario's 43rd annual awards ceremony. These awards are a great way to recognize and celebrate the vital role public art facilities play in our visual arts sector, our communities, and our economy. I want to thank you all for your passion, dedication, and hard work you've done to adapt and innovate so Ontarians can continue to enjoy Canadian arts and culture. You're all absolute champions. Thank you and God bless. Congratulations to Galleries Ontario and to the more than 260 public art galleries across the province on this evening when you're celebrating your 44th annual awards. I'm Chris Glover. I'm the member of Provincial Parliament for Spadina Fort York and I have visited many galleries across Toronto and across Ontario and I've always enjoyed immersing myself in the experience created by the curator and the artists. And recently I've been thinking that as well as capturing and enriching the cultural life of Ontario, that art heals. And coming out of this pandemic, we need the healing experience provided by the visual arts. The piece you see behind me is from a local artist, Moni Ann. And I want to thank all of you for supporting and celebrating local artists in your community. I hope that you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for all that you do. So let's get that wonderful evening started. Uh, Miss Marcy and Christian, over to you. Yes. Oh, let's, get this, let's get the party <laughs> started. <laughs> so, congratulations to the upcoming winners. Yes. We're going to find out who I they know, are. I'm so, so excited. excited. Are you excited. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Woo! So I'm exciting. Excited. I haven't been to an award ceremony like this and it's so exciting. This is, I'm just, yeah, so exciting. I know. It's about time, right? Let's, is it ready? Are we ready? Oscar Schmosters. Are we ready? How long do we have to wait? Well, I don't know. Like, I, think, <laughs> like, I, think, I think we've done our bit. Like when, I think it's time to start, yeah, the, start the award I thing. Know, like, so I know. exciting. On to the show. Fiquei na avenida a te esperar Bateu o toque de recolher Será que ele nunca vai voltar? Ou será que a gente vai morrer Antes do carnaval passar?
Salutations. Welcome to the 2021 GOG Awards. Zainoub asked me to say a few inspiring words about recharging. I thought I would write a poem. It didn't work, but I shall try. I guess in 2020, we had to change our plans. Zainoub, Jessica, and Keith. It seems we were much happier before. Julia, Craig, and Kaylin. Yes, with other plans we sometimes settle, Bruno, Christian, and others, for something that impresses us not. I wish I could explain, but I never will. What the feeling is, it's like climbing up a huge hill, and you can see the top, and we know it's there, but search as we might. This year's GOG Awards are back online again. And everyone here, behind and in front of the camera, wishes we could all be near. But here at the GOG Awards, we just hope that you can see who we are and what makes us tick. You can hopefully see how fascinating we are and join us as we renew. For without you, the membership the gallery goers, the artists, the curators, and everyone who makes it all work, please come and celebrate the GOG Awards of 2021 as we prepare to refresh, rejuvenate, invigorate, restore, and revive. All is profound and all has meaning. And in 2022, when we are back together again, no more gazing at the empty gallery walls. No more sad heads down looking at the gallery floor. We shall rise to greater heights, bigger and better than ever before. Thank you. My sincere apologies to all the poets, living and dead, future and past. Now, before we begin the celebration, I'd like to introduce GOG Executive Director Zainub Verji to say a few words. It is the 44th edition of the annual GOG Awards and time for celebration. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight. Bonsoir, ça me fait énormément plaisir de vous souhaiter la bienvenue à la 44e édition des Prix GOG. Ce soir, nous avons beaucoup à célébrer alors que nous nous ressourçons après les 18 derniers mois. The past 18 months have been filled with challenges, yet we have also been able to come together to reflect, share our experiences, and learn together. Nevertheless, we are thrilled to be with you in the virtual space to recognize excellence in Ontario's galleries. We are presenting six winners for the awards this year from the exhibition, public programs, and lifetime achievement categories. I want to thank the board for their steadfast commitment to GOG, and also thank you to the GOG team, Jessica Lucas, Julia Garnett, Emma Sabri, Kaylin Ryan, Craig Bergold, thank you for the production, and Rio for her help and the amazing Bruno Capinan for their vibrant and amazing music. A big hand also to our esteemed MC, Keith Cole, who never fails us. I now invite Christian Bernard Singer, our president, to offer his remarks. It's an honor to be here tonight to celebrate all the talent we have across Ontario. 
The GOG awards are highly valued by public art galleries in all regions of the province. The awards shine a spotlight on the public art gallery's many contributions to the advancement of knowledge and understanding of contemporary art practice and curating for its many audiences through the quality and significance of its exhibitions, programs, and curatorial research. For GOG, the award celebration never fails to be a meaningful opportunity to showcase the vitality of the regional public art gallery. Thank you to all of our GOG member nominees for your contributions to select award categories this year. The juries had a rigorous selection process. The jurors considered 35 nominations in total from 23 public art galleries from 12 cities across Ontario. Our 2021 jurors are Nadia Kerr, Clayton, Windat, and Vince Rosario. Thank you to our jurors for their thorough adjudication. Last year, we had an identity shift that represents our desire to amplify the strength and clarity of our association's brand. It also reflects our connected sector and the importance of investment in digital resources for our collective future. Our focus as leaders in the visual arts community is to empower you, our member organizations, by providing cutting edge services. We want to provide you with these tools in the hope that they will inspire and create greater visibility and access to your collections and programs. Ultimately, you will better serve your communities now and years to come with Galerie Ontario, Ontario Galleries at your side. You as cultural leaders know that the only way to grow and provide the best and most innovative services now and into the future starts with fundraising. At this time, I respectfully ask you to consider supporting GOG with a financial contribution. Know that your gift helps provide the training and education that galleries, both large and small, require and supports GOG's advocacy efforts. Our board has committed 100% participation in this campaign, and we will match all of your donations up to $2,500. We know that times are tough for many, but a $25 donation from each of you tonight would get us past this modest target immediately. Thank you, Christian. Now on to why we were all logged in tonight, the awards. Our first award of the evening is the Lifetime Achievement Award category, and I am thrilled to present this award to Brian Meehan, Executive Director Museum London. With over 26 years dedicated to the arts community in Canada, the jury is thrilled to recognize the work of Brian Meehan, the longtime director of Museum London. He has led the organization through a number of changes and initiatives. The jury recognizes the effort and vision required to maintain the operations of a multi-pronged organization. The dedication and continued work of Brian Meehan is an inspiration to all arts professionals, not only in Ontario, but Canada broadly. Thank you for this wonderful recognition. It is truly appreciated. I'd like to start by thanking Mary Reed, the lead nominator for this award, and Andrew Kerr, her co-nominator, for their generosity in putting my name forward. It's especially gratifying to think that one's peers would consider the work that you have done to be worthy of consideration. And thank you to Galleries Ontario for organizing this evening and these awards. It's always been important that the arts community come together to celebrate, but it seems especially important during these times. An occasion like this obviously makes one reflect on the past. And in doing so, I recognize how fortunate I've been to be part of the gallery community in Ontario these past 26 years both in London and in Owen Sound. Galleries and museums are only as good as the people within them. And I've been very fortunate to work with so many talented and dedicated staff members over the years. Far too many, unfortunately, to mention personally. I've also had the good fortune of working with many highly creative artists, writers, and curators during this time. It's been a remarkable experience to be able to bring their work to the communities we serve and to see the immense pleasure that our communities take in the exhibitions and programs that we've offered. 
To be able to play a role in connecting art and people for such a long time has been a great gift. And to have been able to do that fully has meant having the steadfast support on the home front as well. And for her unwavering encouragement, I'm extremely grateful to my wife, Kate. So once again, thank you so much for this recognition. Let's now see what the galleries were exhibiting. Exhibition of the year, budget over $50,000. The short list in this category is Burning Glass, Reading Stone, Blackwood Gallery, Alison Cooley, curator, Michael DeRizio, curator, Fraser McCallum, curator, and Sasha Rasich, curator, and exhibition coordinator, Christine Shaw, curator, Laura Tibby, curator. Drift, After Dark, Matter, Agnes Etherington Art Center, Sunny Kerr, curator, Sunny Kerr with assistance from Michelle Bunton, exhibition designers, Leah Cox, Exhibition coordinator, word marked by Katrina Tower and Wolfgang Huckel and Kay Verlang. And the winner is Burning Glass, Reading Stone, Blackwood Gallery. Begin after six caps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hi, I'm Laura Tibby, the educator in residence at the Blackwood Gallery. As part of the 2020 to 2021 academic year, the Blackwood is showing Burning Glass Reading Stone, an eight-part lightbox series exploring the conditions and limitations of looking. Titled Arrest, part five of the lightbox series features work by John Sasaki, a Toronto-based artist whose practice bridges performance, video, and installation art to explore the threshold between reason and irrationality. So, this series features eight images, two on each light box. Archival photographs on the left side, documenting couples at dance marathon contests in the 1920s and 30s. And on the right side, we have photographs of James Phillips, a dancer reenacting these poses. The jurors commented that Burning Glass, Reading Stone, presented a multi-layered exhibit that cohesively brought together a range of artists and writers. This exhibition was chosen for its fresh perspectives on art and the succinct way in which it communicated various histories, aesthetics, and practices to the public, particularly through outdoor installations and supporting online programs. The jury was impressed by the overall collaborative and polyvocal nature of the project and believes that the exhibition creatively responded to the challenges of the past year. Hi, I hope you're all as well as can be wherever you are. I'm Christine Shaw, the director curator of the Blackwood. As has been uttered countless times over the past two years, I hope you can hear me, even through the clamor of what's behind me. On behalf of our team, I'm delighted to accept this award from Galleries Ontario for Burning Glass, Reading Stone. The project was conceived in the early months of the pandemic as a means to hold our team together in the face of uncertainty, to swiftly create meaningful and paid exhibition opportunities for artists in a time of unprecedented precarity, to stay engaged with our audiences and communities in shared separation, to experiment with old and new infrastructures of knowledge production and circulation, and to intervene in optical regimes of power that govern the way we communicate, inscribe, commemorate, and act. Across eight lightbox image sets, this preoccupation with optics resonated across thematic considerations including biological multiplication, surveillance capitalism, decolonial approaches to science and technology, glitch imagery, myth-making, hypervisibility, anonymity, authenticity, exhaustion and alienation, spectropolitics, and hauntings. These critical and time-sensitive issues were supported by multiple engagement strategies and formats that fostered connection-making and profound contemplation of the existing inequities and gaps produced in our mediated environment. While GOG is generously recognizing the curatorial work of the current and former Blackwood staff who convened this project, Alison Cooley, Michael DeRizio, Fraser McCallum, Sasha Rajik, Laura Tibi, and myself, we in turn are acknowledging those who contributed their extraordinary work to this collective endeavor. 
Thank you and congratulations to Jumana Emil Aboud, Ruzbe Akbari, Bruno Aves de Almeida, American artist, Ito Barada, Scott Benissana Bandon, Omar Barada, Black Quantum Futurism, Sasha Devai, Vuk Dijogovic, Forensic Oceanography, Dina Georges, Tony Hafkensheed, Lori Kang, Jessica Kurahunga, Martina Pizan, Yassine Rashidi, Oscar Santillon, John Sasaki, Erdem Tashtalin, Alan Wu, Juan Yi, Shahir Zazai. Through this program, you help the Blackwood to maintain belief in this world and what we're doing in it. Thank you and take care. And we are not done yet. The next award is for Exhibition of the Year, budget over $20,000. Division of Labor, Art Gallery of Burlington, Suzanne Cart, Curator. Deanna Bowen, Black Drones in the Hive, Kitchener-Waterloo Art Gallery. Crystal Mowry, Curator. Jennifer Bullock, Assistant Curator, Registrar, and Shana Cosmore, Curatorial Assistant. Brit Sostar, Preparator. And the winner is Deanna Bowen, Black Drones in the Hive, Kitchener-Waterloo Art Gallery. The jury commented Deanna Bowen, Black Drones in the Hive, brings together archival documents images, and video to present a deep understanding of Canadian history during the early 20th century. The jury selected this exhibition for the way in which Deanna Bowen's methodical examination of black migration and settlement in southwestern Ontario and the prairies irrefutably demonstrates how history continues to shape contemporary politics. Black drones in the hive is well-researched, an exhibition that powerfully sheds light on the history and confronts the mythologies that have shaped Canada for far too long. Big greetings from Montreal, Joe Jaffe, uh, Mohawk Territory. Um, I just want to send out a really big uh, heartfelt thanks to the jury, to uh, GOGs. Uh, also want to send out uh, uh, some real thanks to all of the librarians and archivists and all of these other uh, archival researchers out there that have done the job of uh, taking such good care of Black history in their relative collections. Um, really want to give a great big shout out to Sean Smith at uh, the Archives of Ontario for his um, incredible work with the uh, Alvin McCurdy um, bonds and how important that was to this exhibition. Um, beyond that, of course, Crystal is uh, the bomb and I'm really thrilled to continue to be able to work with her. And so I want to thank you, Crystal, for being the bestest and um, having my back in this really challenging exhibition. And I'm really proud of what we've done. So. Thanks. And we did it in such a wild time. You know, I think this, um, mounting an exhibition like this during a pandemic, during a period when we couldn't actually spend much time together to develop it was a unique challenge, but I am so uh, grateful for the lessons we learned in doing the project when we did it. And I don't think it could, could have been the same project in any other time. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I still think about how meaningful it was to to know okay the exhibition is ready to open to the public and now we have to sit with the weight of what this is and i won't forget that anytime soon and i don't expect i'll have another experience with an exhibition like that anytime soon but you know amounting a project like this is not possible with just us right like it can't just be two people it is possible because we have amazing uh, colleagues and folks working behind the scenes to help bring it into physical space. So on behalf of my colleagues at, former colleagues at the Kitchener-Waterloo Art Gallery, I wanna thank um, the preps that worked on this project, Sarah Kernahan, Alexandria Nelson, Nick Breton, and then uh, KWAG staff who were not only on the ground when we were installing the show, but doing all sorts of other you know, invisible work to make it happen. Jana Kazamora, 
Jennifer Bullock and the superstar Rit Soster, whose uh, labor made so many things possible in such a ridiculous um, short amount of time. So thank you all for everything you do for making magic happen. And um, we're so looking forward to sharing this project with other folks elsewhere. And also thank you, Deanna, because you have been such a bright light for me professionally in such a challenging time. And I can't wait to agitate more with you by my side. So Thank you. Fabulous. 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 <laughs> Black girl magic. Let's keep doing it. The next award is for exhibition of the year budget under $20,000. The short list in this category is Pit Way Way Tam, Making is Medicine, Thunder Bay Art Gallery. Leanna Marshall, curator. Jean Marshall, curator. Erica DeFreitas, Everything She Inspires Remains, Belongs to Light. McLaren Art Center, Emily McKibben, Curator, Erica DeFreitas, Exhibition Designer, Coordinator. And the winner is Pete Weiwei Tam, Making is Medicine, Thunder Bay Art Gallery. The jury commented, Pete Weiwei Tam, Making is Medicine, is an exemplary exhibition that connects beadworking with themes of loss and healing. The impeccable work of the Gustafsson family and the care given by the curator shows that lengthy collaborative practices are possible in the gallery environment. The beauty of the artwork was heightened by the supporting online tour videos and images. The jury recognizes the time taken to produce this exhibition and acknowledge it brings to audiences. We're so excited. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, bonjour. I'm Leanna Marshall, one of the co-curators for the Pete Mewotam uh, Making His Medicine exhibition. This is my sister, Jean Marshall. <laughs> this is uh, Shana Gustafson, one of the artists. Um, missing from this picture is uh, Ryan Gustafson and uh, Jade and Justine Gustafson, who also were the artists for the show. Um, we're really excited um, for this award, totally unexpected. So Chimi Gwich to uh, the Thunder Bay Art Gallery, uh, to the Ontario Arts Council. Uh, we also want to say a big thank you uh, to Adonosa Connick, our, our relatives and our ancestors who, who guided us along this whole journey and who continue to guide us. And also to Ron Mandaman, who uh, is also, uh, has been a great help. Anything else? Just thanks to everybody who's out there doing good work. Yeah, I don't know. Awesome. It was yes, great. Thank yeah, thanks. Really nice. Good night, everyone. Last but not least in our exhibition categories, I am pleased to be here to present the exhibition of the year budget under $10,000. And the winner is Luke Parnell. Repeat the chorus three times. Barley Art Gallery of Markham. Anuk Glaud, curator. The jury commented that Luke Parnell's work carefully and beautifully explores his family's history in repeat the chorus three times at the Varley Art Gallery. The installation of his three box drums, innovately made of various sizes and in the northwest coast of indigenous style, articulates a generational history of dispossession that urgently needs to be told. The exhibition was presented along with an online platform to view, also for greater viewership and contemplation of the subject matter during a critical period of unsettling Canadian history. Hi, I'm Anik Glaude, the curator of the Varley Art Gallery of Markham. Thank you so much to Galerie Ontario Galleries for uh, recognizing the exhibition, Luke Parnell, repeat the chorus three times. It's a small but powerful and important uh, project um, that unfortunately not a lot of people had a chance to see in person as it existed um, primarily as a virtual exhibition while the gallery was closed. 
Um, but thank you so much to the jury for uh, bringing attention to the project and, and for uh, letting us share it with all of you um, tonight. I share uh, this honor with Luke. Uh, Luke, thank you so much um, for letting us uh, borrow the works. Um, it's been really great to see the work evolve um, over time uh, as we've been working on this exhibition. Um, so thank you, thank you so much. Uh, to Lisa Myers, who joined Luke and I as a guest writer. Um, working with you is always fantastic and um, we'll be releasing the exhibition brochure very soon. Thank you to the rest of the team, uh, John Abrams and Phil Scott, who installed the exhibition, Louis Lee for creating the virtual um, tour, uh, which made it possible for people to see the work even at a distance, to Tony Hafkinshi for his beautiful um, documentation, um, to the rest of the gallery staff, a uh, special shout out to Catherine Dick and Natalie Lamb, uh, who created really um, insightful uh, public programs uh, over the course of the summer. Thank you so much. Celebrating the achievements of our galleries is a reminder for all of us to remember for those who we lost this year, whose impact in the arts will never be forgotten. Let's all take a moment to remember those who have inspired us, and supported us. We are now on to our final award of the evening. The next award for public programs. GOG reintroduced the public program award this year to highlight how the gallery stepped up to the challenges of creating engaging public programs during the isolating times of the pandemic. The shortlisted nominees for the public program award are New Impressions, High School Juried Exhibition, Woodstock Art Gallery. Stephanie Porter, Head of Education. Deanna Logan, Education Coordinator. Running with the concepts, the Mediatic Edition Blackwood Gallery. Allison Cooley, Co-Organizer. Co Fraser McCallum, Co-Organizer. Art on My Mind, Hope You Can Relate, 2020, Art Gallery of York University, Allison Adley, Collections Educational Assistant. And the winner is Running With Concepts. The Mediatic Edition, Blackwood Gallery, Allison Cooley, co-organizer, Fraser McCallum, co-organizer. The jury commented that collectively organized public program, Running With Concepts, brought together artists and writers to explore diverse yet related ideas on contemporary discourse, combining online discussions, screenings, workshops, and performances. The program presented robust offerings to their audiences. Furthermore, the attention to accessibility, 
the providing transcriptions and ASL interpretation for workshops also deeply added to the overall project. We commend the Blackwood Gallery for this rich and generative public program. Hi, my name is Fraser McCallum, project coordinator at the Blackwood, and I'm delighted to accept this award on behalf of our team. Running with Concepts, the Mediatic Edition was the sixth iteration of our hybrid educational event, taking place for the first time in a virtual format as a durational program from fall 2020 to winter 2021. It looked to a diverse set of concerns in media practice and adjacent fields, including data sovereignty, citizen science, journalism, documentary filmmaking, data visualization, disability justice, and critical design, to consider how strategies from other media disciplines could be taken up in artistic practice. The program included panel discussions, film screenings, performances, and workshops, alongside a research fellowship that provided mentorship, critical responses, and public presentations. The program concluded with a free published report with a series of commissioned essays. This program was in the early stages of planning as the pandemic hit, necessitating many major shifts in its program formats, outreach and engagement strategies, accessibility practices, as well as our own capacity for hosting virtual events. I'd like to thank everyone from our team at the Blackwood who are deeply involved in conceptual development, coordination, and technical support. Christine Shaw, Sasha Reichich, Jackie Siskin, Keiko Hart, and co-curator on the project, Alison Cooley. I'd like, finally like to sincerely thank all the contributors involved. I don't have time allotted here to go through the whole list of over, over 50 people, but we gratefully thank you for entrusting us with your work, for engaging in rich conversations with the work of others, for in some cases adapting your work for virtual format, formats, and for reflecting and writing about the program, to name a few ways your work enriched the Mediatic Edition. Thank you, and thanks to Galleries Ontario for the recognition. The jury is also giving an honorable mention for the Public Program Award to AGB Kids Variety Show, Art Gallery of Burlington, Tara Bursey, Associate Educator, Melody Ki Young Cho, Program Assistant. It's time to pull out your phones and make a pledge to support GOG. We have 100% board participation and ask the audience to make a contribution. You can donate with the QR code on the bottom of your screen or on the new GOG website. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your time and your attention and all of your donations. We will see you again live next year in 2022, and I will be back. But please put your hands together and bring back Christian Bernard Singer. I'll see you next year. Goodbye. As a happy coincidence on the occasion of GOG's 51st anniversary, our executive director received many accolades including being appointed a senior fellow to McLaughlin College School of Public Policy at York University. She also received a Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa from OCAD University and was elected senior fellow at Massey College. As president of, G of the GOG board, I'm delighted to congratulate Zainab on these amazing achievements and to thank her for her deep dedication to Ontario's public art galleries. On behalf of the board and myself, thank you, and have a fabulous night. We will see you all on Zoom. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you to the 52 people who are still with us. Um, my name is Robert Steven. I'm the vice president of uh, GOG this year. And I don't know if you've heard, um, but uh, we're a registered charitable organization. And you can actually donate money to support us, uh, to help us uh, um, do some of the important things that I know anyone who's gathered with us here tonight would want us to continue doing. There is actually more than one way besides uh, clicking on the well, whatever you do, scanning the QR code uh, that you should see on your screen any moment, uh, which will take you to our Canada Helps uh, donation profile. 
we've talked about that a couple of times. Um, you can also, though, if you recall the in-person award ceremonies, you can participate in the silent auction. Um, and there is another QR code coming up very shortly, um, which will, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I don't know if you've heard, but we'll match, the board members will match $2,500 of, of your donations. But um, another way to support GOG this evening is by visiting our silent auction, scan the QR code on your screen now, or visit the link in the chat. Uh, to visit our silent auction, but be quick. The auction closes at 5 p.m. on December 7th. So quick in a relative sense. Um, and there are lots of well-priced items that are going to go fast. Well, in fact, they'll all go at the same time unless there is a buy now option. So thank you for any support you can give, including telling your friends about GOG, and now back to our hosts for the evening, Christian Bernard Singer and Miss Marcy. And Don Owen, of course. <laughs> Hello. Are you gonna do some poses, Don? Oh, I was I, I was waiting for you to appear on my screen. Is this how I do it? Yeah, there we go. I was yep. never good at the Vogue. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, Way to date myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you beautiful yeah. people. Okay, so gang, whoever's still on, on the call, I hope you turn your cameras on um, so that we can do some uh, Zoom screenshots. Uh, the phenomenal uh, Liz, who is uh, behind the scenes making the magic happen tonight, is taking some uh, uh, group shots. Uh, and so if you just bear with us for a few minutes, um, she's going to work her magic. Uh, and we are going to take a snapshot or a couple of snapshots of uh, our fabulous selves tonight. When can I start breathing? <laughs> you don't need to breathe. You look fabulous, Christian. <laughs> breathing is not breathing. It's, over, it's overrated. Breathing is overrated. <laughs> all right. Oh. Ah. oh, I think that means that all the shots have been taken. That's so oh wonderful. God. Oh can, can we, um, as our parting words for the night, a huge congratulations to our winners. And also Absolutely. the nominees, Absolutely. snaps in your general direction, uh, phenomenal projects, um, and of course, uh, all of the amazing folks and all the work you do across our sector. Uh, we're so grateful and we're excited uh, about the year to come. Uh, my final uh, message to everyone tonight is, is an important one and one that I say with, with heart. Uh, stay safe, be well. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Good night from GOG. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.